Shalom, Akim, first off, praising glory to Yahweh, Awa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, the Bonfas Kamil, someone said, you let, and right now, Akim, I'm going to let's basically interpret with the most high man. This is a fucking dumb question that people ask, bro. Is it a God exists? Who created God, right? <laughs> you know, a bunch of atheists and all the other side say, like, oh, if God exists, if the Most High exists, then who created the Most High? People are thinking of it too. People are, th are thinking of it as a third dimensional way, bro. <laughs> you see, the Most High, man, time doesn't apply, time doesn't apply to him, bro. You gotta understand that time does not apply to the Most High. Like us, right? Or we, we got mothers, we got fathers, bro. We got, we got a lineage of basically to track, basically to track back to. Like, all right, no, I, I know why I was born. I know how I was created from my mom and dad. My dad's side, it was he was born because mom, his mom and dad. And so on and so forth, right? You know, very obviously, very clear. But you would say, well, who created God? Who created the Most High? Which you can't think, uh, you can't think of the creation of the Most High in a fucking third-dimensional way. How time only flows one way, man. <laughs> not real. So you gotta understand, the Lord is not contained by our rule of our rules of physics and logic, man. He is not contained by that, bro. He's honestly at the end point, bro. The Lord sees all, sees time at, sees time. Completely as all happened at once. I'm gonna real quick. This is Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. And it reads, The thing that happened is what shall be. For example, right, let's say the market of beast, bro. Let's say the market of beast, this, that, and the right. Prophecy that has not happened yet. And that will not have it fully been like for being um, brought down on, right? We got we're basically forcing it to buy and sell again. Buy and sell again. But to the Most High, it already happened already. To the Lord, it already happened because the Lord created. The Lord had made the exact circumstances of how it's created. Now all we doing right, it is playing our part in the movie. And people think, oh well, that you can't think of how the Lord is contained by our boundaries. The Lord is not played by our rules that He created for us. The best way to basically describe it is like a movie, right? Say you buy a DVD. Like, this is Blu ray. Say you buy a Blu ray and no one fucking uses DVDs. Well, I don't fucking use DVDs. No one, no one uses DVDs. Uh, right? But say you buy a Blu ray. Technically, man, if you really want to, you could skip to the ending and then watch the beginning and then the middle and then the ending again. You could play at all different types of points. But you, if you're first time watching it, hey, the movies are done already. The movie has already been created. Do you get the finished product already? That's what we are, man. We are just playing our part in the, the Lord's movie. He can pause, he can rewind at any time when he wants to. But to us, it's all happening in a straightforward line. Just like do the movie. Because the Lord, man, time isn't... That gets real quick. Thank you. This is that Second Peter three verse eighteen, not eighteen three verse eight. And it reads, "But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day with is the most high as a thousand years, a thousand years one day. So one day to the Lord is like a thousand years to us. That's because it's a concept of time, bro. It doesn't really apply, really, bro." Lord not seeing, like, people think, oh, the prophecy must happen ASAP, right? Not real. I mean, that's why the, it says the, the, the world wasn't created in seven actual days. It was created approximately by, like, seven, like 7,000 years. That was one of the most I created. That's how long it took it took us to create the world, bro. But with no actual literal seven days, man. <laughs> so time is not, like, it's not something like he's, like, really con basically concerned about because it's all happening at once already. Like the CND, like, all right, yeah, it's been like a day-ish. Like a thousand years to him, bro. 
Now, is that incomprehensible to us? But yes, it is, man. You understand that, bro. Be careful really thinking about this because you might bug yourself out, ass out. I know I had some thoughts about this shit, bro. You know, I'm not saying I don't, man. But for edification, that hey, people say, oh, well, who created the Lord? I'm like, nah, man. You can't think of... If I met that real quick. Isaiah. This is Isaiah 55 verse 8, and I read, to my thoughts are not your thoughts, and to my ways your ways, saith the Most High. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So you understand, the Lord is on a way more different scale on us, man, that we can't even comprehend. You can't comprehend how the Lord sees things in time, bro. That's where that trust and faith comes in. That's like when you're catching so much hell, like, man, why this, why that, and this, bro. What you truly got to do is trust and faith in the Most High. You can't try to do your own thing all the time, bro. Nah, man, you guys put your trust and faith in the Lord. <laughs> is it always easy? Hell no, bro. I'm not saying it's always easy, man. I'm not saying you're not going to fall here and there, bro. You know, we, because we men in this thing, bro. We, we're mortal men. We got to have that trust and that faith in the Most High. To the best your ability. Without doubting, without ceasing. And that one real quick, bro. If people don't think, people you can't, you can't think like the Lord. You can't think like the Lord, bro. Understand that you can't think like the Lord. You can't contain the Lord in a box of who created him. How is he came to be? Because in that, by that logic, right, you can say, well, who created the Big Bang? You know, you're saying all these add-ons were just roaming for fucking eons and suddenly out of fucking nowhere this happened bro where i'm able to i'm conscious i'm speaking out of fucking nothing bro come on man you know but that can be quick we is in proverbs not proverbs of songs Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is Psalms 14. Stretch him to the top. The fool have said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done. They have done about my works. There is none to do of good. The fool will say that there is no God, man, and there is no high power, man. I think everything is all by accident. That once you die, and that's it. That it just lights out after you die, and there's no afterlife, and none of this, not that room. <laughs> and they they question though, well, if why God exists, why is evil on earth? And you and you clearly get this scripture that says that hey, the earth is given hands of the wicked. He goes, his judges are up. It's all clearly down and put in text for us to understand, to read, to comprehend. Of why why shit is so bad? Why is this happening? Why is that happening? <laughs> and yet people don't want to get in the book. People don't want to read, people don't want to understand how the Most High acts, but they want to comprehend on their own knowledge. They want to do it on their own thoughts. And you can't comprehend, you can't try to always understand the Lord sometimes, bro. All of you, awesome, all you can really do is have faith in the Most High that He's protecting you and He's guiding you at the end of the day. People are bugged out, bro. People are bugged out seeing that they think, oh, who created God and why this, man? And this, that, and you're the bro. The last one, real quick, man. And at the end of the most side, it's just like he's not bound by our time, bro. He's not bound by the boundaries of us. It's like, I like the interpolation, man. <laughs> I'll from the top. And it reads the relation, it's like, the relation of how Shamashiach, which he how it came to him, to shoot unto servants the thing which, thing which must surely come to pass. He sent and signified by his angel unto servant John, who will bear the record of the word of Yahweh and testimony of Yahashmashak and of all these things that he saw. 
So John, bro, John saw the end, bro. John saw us in this kingdom. Understand that. John saw basically a miracle rate, bro. It was 2,000 years before it exists. That's the whole that gave that deja, deja vu shit, bro. Because honestly, the end is right written, bro. It's like a little sneak peek of what's to come. That's it. That's my cap. You know, thank you for all praise going to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. That's like I'm telling you.